Bobby Necker says, I can't seem to stop wishing for the past and wishing that I could experience sharing and creating memories of my son growing up with his mother. I don't think I love her anymore. I just grieve the loss of family often. Who says you've lost a family? What is your definition of losing? Huh? Then what would you say if your ex, God forbid, would have actually left this earth, like died? That is a little bit more of a loss than what you're facing, right? If you really love your son, then you will do your best to become the best father you can ever be. Work hard to make money for him and help the mother as well. It doesn't matter who she goes out with, what she does. It doesn't matter. You want her for your son. You don't want her for you anymore. And you shouldn't. More power to you. But you want her for yourself. If you love your son, your son must have the benefit of his mother and his father. Talk to your wife and ex-wife and say, please, darling, we obviously are not good together anymore for one reason or another. That doesn't matter. But what is most important is for you to be healthy and happy and for my son, our son, to be healthy and happy and feel psychologically secure. For that, we need to have some ground rules. Do not bring a boyfriend in front of him. That will confuse him. That will make him feel unsafe. I don't care how much you like that boyfriend. Just don't. And I will not bring a girlfriend in front of him because he should not feel that we are replacing the mommy or we're replacing a daddy. These people that you choose, you have certain connection with them maybe. But that is your choice. The child did not choose for us to separate. He should still feel there is a family intact, that there is a mom, there is a dad, and there's one mom and there's one dad. So make that clear. Do not try to replace me. I will not try to replace you because that may be kind of feeling good for you, for us, in our own little mind. But in reality, it's going to harm the child. It's not going to make the child feel as he should feel while growing up. So make clear that his dad is always there behind him. And I will make clear that his mom is always there behind him. This is our duty to make sure that this child will grow up, even though if we have failed in our fulfillment of the duty we have when we make a child. We somehow have decided that we are more important than whatever it is that we started to build. That's okay. That's how you see it. That's fine. But let us at least do our obligation and our duty to our child and not replace and bring all these boyfriends, you know, like a revolving door or girlfriends for me, revolving door. No. We must be responsible. And together we can make this work. You can have your own personal life, and perhaps I can too. And at the same time, our son will see, wow, it's a strong family, mom and dad always there. And participate in his, in his uh, schooling together or singular, but don't bloody ask her, bring a boyfriend to the school or you don't bring a girlfriend to the school events, just the two of you. Give him, you owe it to that child to make him feel that everything is okay. If mom and dad are not together, but they're still all there, the three of us are together. That's your mission is. And if she doesn't want to understand that, too bad. Then you should make sure to get joint custody that you will have a fair, uh, portion of time to spend with your son. That is the most important thing, the upbringing of a child. If two people decide not to be together, that's okay if they want to be that way. But it is not okay to jeopardize the right of your child in order to fulfill your own whatever it is that you think is important for you. The child comes first. There we go. Now, let's go to next uh, question. A loss of 
family about the necklaces often even around two years later I struggle with the fact that another man has taken my place no man ever can ever take your place with the one that is the most important thing and who's the most important one your son not your wife not your ex your son is right because it was her choice to leave and therefore she's no longer the most important person in your life your son is so you never will be replaced as long as you are in the game as far as you are paying full attention to your son spending enough time with him maybe you have joint custody or however it is that you guys have arranged it you gotta be there for him when you are with him be there for him do homework do things teach him things you know do sports together and be involved don't just be there as a babysitter when you're with him be there as a dad as a friend play together do homework together go on trips together then you will never be replaced because that whoever it is in your ex-wife's life is not a blood father can never be you ever if you always focus on putting your child first and spend quality time when you're with your son see what he needs some uh, homework that he doesn't understand figure it out for him do it help him teach him some game he wants to play he's not that good at it well do it with him make him good whatever his interests are within reason still be a father you decide what's good for him what's not good for him but discuss have conversation with him share share your mind don't sob and cry and all that don't talk about his mom and you talk about you and him and the world and his future and his life and how he wants to lead his life what he wants to do what he should do make a plan for him make him feel that there is a dad who's got his back and is planning and giving him plans and designs and suggestions and ideas and kudos and be there for him to give all the kudos that you can then you can see not even God can replace you so don't worry about that just do the right thing be with him 